I hear the story about your dog. Yeah, that, well, that hit you pretty hard. Yeah. I'd like to hear the story. Okay. Well, I had my dog, right? So, like, basically my best friend. So I. What, what was your dog's name? Diesel. Diesel. Yeah, he, like we, I took him through dog training, all that. He was a pit bull, but he was like, he could be a poster child for a pit bull. Really well trained. He was like the most friendliest dog ever. And uh, well, he was like my best friend. Went anywhere with me. How old were you? When he when he died, or like when he when I got him. When you got him. Uh, around thirty, I would say. Uh, well, he he ended up having like a heart failure in my bed, so he passed away. And that was probably one of the roughest days of my life because he was actually like. My best friend, he was always there, unconditional love, no matter what. Always happy to see me, no matter how bad my day was. It was just like, he was just the best, and he'd always cheer me up, and he'd always get me outside, so we'd have to walk him, and, and uh, when I lost him, that was, yeah, that was really tragic for me. How so, long was that? Two years, maybe two and a half years. Yeah, it's, uh, I just, I, 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 wake, I woke up enough just to see the life go out of his eyes when I sleep, in my bed he passed away. I had to pick him up, and yeah, it was really, yeah, tough times. Yeah, it's probably my, actually out of anything that's happened to me, even getting caught, that was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. Freaking loss of my dog. Even though I could go to jail for 10 years, I'd rather take that than lose that dog again. Any day. Any day. What else was happening in your life at that time? Ah, uh, okay, well, I lost, yeah. That was a bad year. <laughs> so I, me and the girl I'd been going out with off and on for five years, we broke up just before that as well. And I found out that she had taken her life down the drug road and had just rode herself completely off. Uh, so that was kind of a tough thing as well. Is that the girl that you saw on the street corner? Uh, no, a different one. No, this is one I actually went out with. and li I lived with this girl for years and years and stuff. And yeah, after actually when we were breaking up, she said, well, if this doesn't work out, I'm just going to give up. I thought she was, you know, just one of those people that says that, like, I'm going to kill myself and stuff. Let's well, know she actually gave up. She uh, went and started getting the crack, so she's, yeah. She managed to show up at my door one day just to show where she put herself, I think just to hurt me, and uh, it was pretty traumatic for me as well. She'd lost, she was already a really naturally skinny girl. She probably lost 30, 35 pounds. I gave her a hug and it was just a rack of bones. And it was really, uh, really a tough day. Yeah.